Hey, Emily. Into this situation, kind of like a pseudo start. How did you treat it? Um, I, I basically took it as we had issues in the first inning and I needed to get ready. Um, normally, I, I would pretend to be like a starter for that day and um, do my normal routine, but I haven't been doing that up to this point. So um, I just kept things exactly the same as I've been doing all year. And uh, just as soon as I was in there, just go as long as I can. When did you figure out that would be your strategy? Um, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I probably found out on Twitter first that I would potentially be starting because um, they, they, they didn't know if they were going to need me the past couple of games just in case, and then they would have to make more moves. So um, I think being able to just be ready every game and you never know when your name's going to be called uh, has, has been beneficial to me. For you to have the, the outing that you did, um, what does that do for you confidence-wise, and, and what do you feel like that does for you as far as your versatility on this club? Yeah, I mean um, – I'm hoping that if there's any questions, if I could potentially start in this league, it's I, I would hope that I've resolved them a little bit. Um, at the end of the day, I, I told Woody, you know, whatever it takes to win, win games, excuse me. Um, I think that's going to be the, the main goal for me is uh, whether it's starting or leaving, um, I'm going to go out and do whatever I can to, to help the team win. And then last one for me to come in already with a, with a lead like that, that is, <laughs> does that do you try to pretend like it's not there, or how do you approach it? You, you have to keep your foot on the gas pedal. Um, I, throughout the minor leagues, if, if you ease off and you have a five-run lead, uh, it can get ugly quick. So uh, the same rules kind of apply here. And you, you've seen uh, last night, even when we, we battled back, uh, it ended up being a 10-6 game instead of you know a 10-1 game. Um, things can change quick. So you almost have to step on their throats and, and be able to, to keep going forward. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Other questions for Wes? Uh, Wes, when you see a five-run lead and you're warming up, does, does it go through your mind that your first big league win is right there in front of you? <laughs> I'd be lying to you if I didn't think about it, uh, if I said I didn't think about it. Um, but at the same time, uh, I, I try not to even look at the scoreboard. I knew that the second inning was mine, and uh, I was preparing to just go in like a start there and uh, be able to just eat up as many innings as, as we could. Uh, that. I think meant more to me the more innings I got as opposed to you know how many runs I may or may not have given up or something like that. So that was my main focus. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Other questions for Wes? Levi. Wes, it like you kept them pretty off balance for the time that you were in there. And that's, that's not, I mean, I know they're missing Chapman, but that's not a that's not a minor league lineup that they've got. <laughs> uh, what, what specifically worked for you to keep those guys off balance? I, I mean, I think it helped that they, they hadn't seen me before. I'd, I'd been on the team for about a month now, and we've played them multiple times, but I've, I've never really gotten to actually face them in action. So um, I think just setting everything up with the fastball and, and tunneling my pitches off the fastball was was the major key for me. And uh, by the second time around that they saw me, I was able to, to pitch backwards to them and uh, keep them off balance, I guess. Has that, has that been a challenge? I know you've been up for a while and, and the, your usage has been kind of sporadic. Has that been a challenge to stay <laughs> sharp and, and Gaps. It is. Uh, it would have been nice to know if, if I was going to start a little earlier, um, and so I'd have time for a bullpen, things of that nature. But um, that's not always how this game goes, and I may be needed, you know, here or there in, in, in any game. Um, I think being able to kind of roll with the punches like that has been a, a new skill for me that I've learned over this year. Um, I, I like uh, uniformity. I like knowing when I'm going to go in, but I think that's it's been just a, a, a good builder for me to be able to figure that out this year. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one more, Evan. Hey, Wes, congratulations. Thanks, Evan. So, just listening to you, it sounds like you had a pretty good um, mindset about coming in behind the opener. Um, mm. And I, I don't have my numbers in front of me. Did you do that, or were you kind of going back to like a piggyback situation you may have had in the minors? Uh, or did you pitch behind an opener at all last year? That's the first time I've I've done that. Um, you know, I was I was gonna rock paper scissors Nick Goody to see you know who could go more innings tonight, and you know he he let me go a couple more, so I was grateful for that. And uh, I think being able to um, just go about it, there was no one on. I, I thought of it as the first inning. Um, I, I think 
that's that's huge for me is you know no one's on base it's it's nice to just be able to focus on attacking the zone and and getting guys out and before I knew it I looked up and you know four innings had gone by Perfect. Great. Congratulations. thank you appreciate it